Today we start the chapter multiplication in plants chapter 11 on page 159 and 160. Let us imagine that if there is no new production or no multiplication of organism take place in the world, what would happen in future? There will be no organism could survive in this world. The world or the earth become barren place. So, there is a need for multiplication of organism or the process so called reproduction. What is reproduction? It is a process of producing new individual organism from the parent organism is called reproduction. This reproduction is necessary for the continuity of life or the multiplication of organism or the increasing population rate. This is necessary. This chapter we discuss about plants reproduction or multiplication of plants. Basically, plant body consists of two main parts. One is vegetative part which includes roots, stems, leaves, etc. And the second one is reproductive part which includes male and female part of the flower. Some plants have both the female and male reproductive part whereas in some plants have only male reproductive or female reproductive part of the flower. Generally, reproduction plants take place in two ways, asexual and sexual. Reproduction is divided into two parts, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is a process in which two parents are involved for the production of sex cell or gametes. Whereas asexual reproduction is involved by single parent without the production of sex cell or gamete. In asexual reproduction, there is no seed formation take place. It is a faster means of producing offspring. However, the new individuals produce are identical or similar to the parent plant. Examples of asexual reproductive organs are in organs in plants are rose, sugarcane, potato, ginger, as well as bacteria, algae, and fungi. These all organisms undergo a sexual reproduction in which only one single parent is involved without production of sex cells or gametes. There are several modes of asexual reproduction in plants that is budding, fragmentation, spore formation, vegetative propagations. These are the modes of asexual reproduction in plants. Today, in this section, we discuss about three modes of asexual reproduction that is budding, fragmentation and spore formation. Budding is a asexual mode of reproduction which takes place in yeast fungus which is microorganism that is unicellular organism. You might have heard about alcoholic fermentation. Alcohol is prepared by the fermentation process in which this single cellular unicellular organism yeast is involved which undergoes budding method of asexual reproductions. The yeast cell is grown and multiplied in sugar solution by the process of budding asexual reproduction and produce alcohol. This process is discovered by Louis Foster. How it happens? This yeast break down this sugar compound into ethanol as well as carbon dioxide. Each cell of yeast produces one or more tiny outgrowth called buds, which increases in, in size with the time. The nucleus divides into many nuclei and it is distributed to each bud. So each bud is with a single nucleus. Thus it produces, thus it forms new individual. These buds ultimately detach from the parent cell and live independently. Activity 1 is also saying that if you observe yeast cell under microscope, we can see the outgrowth on the cell that is called buds. So thus it produces new individual by the process of asexual budding process. Next method is fragmentation. You might have heard that 
spirogyra that is green algae which spreads on the pond water or water ditches area it means watery area what how it happens this spirogyra organism they undergo asexual mode of fragmentation what is the meaning of fragmentation it's nothing but division of one organism into many parts that is segments each segment then develop into complete organism and they live independently third mode of reproduction is asexual reproduction is spore formation organisms like fungi mosses and ferns they undergo spore formation this is a method of asexual reproduction on this organism a piece of bread is kept on moist or warm places we can observe some masses of fine thread like structure called hypae grow from the spores after they have settled on it at the tip of hypae spores are formed the spores are enclosed in a particular structure called sporangium such spores are very light and as well as very minute that is what they are covered by some kind of protective membrane in order to protect those spores those light spores from the unfavorable extreme condition under suitable condition or under favorable condition these spores develop into new individual so we have discussed in this section three types of asexual reproduction that is budding fragmentation spore formation in yeast budding takes place and in spirogyra or green algae fragmentation process takes place and uh, and also in fungi mosses and ferns spore formation occurs